And, and welcome back. Oh. But yeah, well, there you go. Let's do it again. All right. Welcome back and to GLM. Oh, one more try. Welcome back. There we go. There we have it indeed. Lothar is indeed joining me. Or I'm joining Lothar, exactly. rather. I'm joining you. You had a for break. Another match. I did have a break, and you know what I did? Watch the game. Napped. You didn't see some sick action. I actually man. caught it. I actually caught it. Uh, I was, Those I, nades on the mountain, that I was saw something them. to behold. I did see him. I, I was I was kind of thinking it's going to be an open circle game, as it usually is. It ends mm -hmm. up in Gatka. We've seen it many a times in the competitive scene. But this time around, the mountainside, I was a bit uh, worried about the, the teams that were actually playing top mountain. None mm -hmm. of the, well, most of the, the teams in the top, top ranks in, in PUBG at the moment, especially on the EU servers, uh, uh, play the mountainside. They've stopped playing the mountainside because you're kind of open from a lot of positions. This time around, it proved to be a very valid place to actually play from because the circle did end there after all. Yeah, well, the circle just caught up everyone on the south side. So someone who had no side that was Dignitas, if I remember correctly, they mm -hmm. had like an entire side of the mountain for themselves. Yeah. So if they had a flank going on, they had seen it coming from the distance away. And they really yeah. knew how to watch their backs as well. Mm -hmm. They were holding on a 360 kind of degree kind of perspective, constantly rotating, constantly looking around, trying to make sure that they don't get side flank, which is something that they did get. But mm -hmm. alas, because they were looking around, they were ready for it. So uh, there you go. That's the, I guess, the, the one lesson that we yep. can take away from the previous match. If you're in a, a circle that ends in a more of an open area, if you're in a, in a high risk area, just make sure that most of your players are rotating around, making sure they're li little tiny turrets. You're watching for your backs as well. That's an important thing. Because of the fact that now we have a separate stream with the minimap, I would assume that teams are gonna take a look at the minimap mm -hmm. on the landings mm -hmm. every single game after, the, right after the game, when I have a few minutes break, to analyze where the teams are starting, yeah. to see any patterns, to adjust their own game style and game plan, especially early in game, mm -hmm. right? Because they won't have the time to watch the entire uh, map for like the yeah. entire game. But it's especially important to see an example. Let's say, How they move. yeah, uh, let's see. Let's say, does Dignitas go every single time for uh, Sofa Gogop, right? Is NIP still doing the tactic with Apartment School and so yep. on? Uh, we don't have phase here, so no one, maybe no one is dropping an, an a Milta power, Milta. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can adjust your own game plan and jump a different place, a completely different location from what you usually do. And I would say that that's, that's a valid strategy uh, when you are mixing it up and you're not playing against the teams that you're usually screaming against. Yeah. I get you. Well, let's uh, analyze something else, though. We do have the stats ready from the previous match, so let's have a look at that one indeed. Set to Destroy X doing pretty, pretty good. 275 points. Of course, those extra 75 could him from their 11 kills. Same amount of kills for Envious, but they're getting the second place, so 225 for them. Still doing pretty good. Envious are really showing up tonight. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of them. Quick maths, 2 plus 2 minus 1. That's their current position. It's pretty good, I would say, but um, let's just switch to the other side of the bracket. Azimut Lobby from first place to 17th yeah. this time. So they didn't earn a single point. That's what early on combat game. gets you. And that's why you'd see most of the pro teams actually avoid early on combat. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Even if there's like a high risk, high reward area, one of them is most likely to back off. If you don't back off, this is what you get. Yeah. Uh, we have seen the duel between EG and NIP. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, EG lost two members of the team in that duel and they paid a high price. They finished mm -hmm. 13th in go. this game game one and IP was able to jump out to the eighth place which is not bad not terrible but right? they need more but yeah definitely could have um, taken more points in general since they didn't finish so high in the first game as well so now when exactly. the first game and the second game is not looking that great they really need to focus on the next three games they just have to avoid I would say have to avoid any kind of early uh, engagements yeah. with any other team absolutely so these next matches are gonna. St we're still gonna be seeing placements, so teams are gonna be playing quite safely. But uh, the the fourth and the fifth match, we're gonna be seeing a bit more of an action because the teams that are on the very bottom line, they know that they need as many kills as they can get mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. to try and climb up on the bracket. So they're gonna be ruining everybody's fun. Yep. So definitely stick around for those. We're gonna be showing you those quite quite soon enough. But before we get uh, ahead of ourselves, we still have game number three. And I'm really looking forward to seeing an actual normal plane this time around. Please, Blue Hole. Maybe. It was the same exact plane for the second match, dude. It, it tilted me so bad when I was I was sitting on that couch. I was getting ready to, to nod off. It did not occur. But we didn't have many swimmers, actually, this game. 
To we be did not have a lot of ocean men. That is true. Yeah, I mean, the, the, it didn't the first end circle on the ocean man. Was west side was completely water, right? Uh, yeah. It was almost half of the circle, South but at side, the yeah. same time, um, mo just most people traveled so um, actually north side, uh, just from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Everyone from north side of the map to travel to the north side of the circle, which was pretty good. Uh, that was, if I remember correctly, north Gorgopol ended up like on a line of ruins. So that was pretty decent. But now we have the new plane coming from directly over Severny. Nice. Going Thank to you. the military base. So this is a very balanced plane um, for every single team. Still avoiding a bit of a well, eastern area there, of course. Yasnaya is reachable by long drop and we will be seeing a long drop being done by Team Totality. It looks like they're going to be heading straight into that one there. So uh, whilst nobody else is actually going to be challenging them and plenty of action already to see come that early on into George and, mm -hmm. and Pachinki. Dignitas doing their own plan, NIP doing their own plan, but this time they have a team with them, and they're being joined by... Who is that? Kailank is playing for... Um, Kailank, that's uh, Asma Lobby, right? Uh, yes. That's Asma a team Lobby. that got super far in the first match. Not too bad. We'll see how they pan out in Pachinki. Um, but yeah, have a look at this plane here. It's a decent enough trajectory. Again, it kind of avoids the eastern side of things. You can go for cars, you can go for vehicles, especially on the east side of Roshok. Um, even where Team Totality are currently right now, they can find some vehicles there to try and further their pursuit towards the eastern side. The Asnaya, Lopovka, Miltabar, even Milta, all places that are currently being avoided, so to speak. Uh, many vehicles to be found as well on the south coast of the northern island, where you can see a couple of the teams. GFE are currently in that... Uh, spot and getting some uh, some vehicles to work with here small change for tempo stone meluk this time didn't drop for uh the apartments nearby to hospital since he got killed pretty early on mm -hmm. in the previous game because he was pushed by envy so he knows that envy has the drop on hospital and yeah, those MVS apartments on the, on the west side so now he's closer to his teammates on the west side apartment oh. look at this so oh. the military base beautiful and a lot of water it's it's that much water that not even the whole circle is is shown. Look at that. The east side of the circle is actually outside of the freaking map. The south side <laughs> as well. And the south side as well. Holy guacamole! This is what we get. This is what we get for for calling out the circles, man. I think we're just we should be nice to the circles. Just you know, just caress um, them as much as we can. You know, we we love caressing circles in general, but <laughs> this time around, perhaps we should caress the blue hole circle. Put them in a good mood. Sweeten them up somehow. I don't know, man. Oh, Lordy. Th that's one thing. That that cannot be a balanced circle every single game because then it would change the metagame of the It'd drops so much, right? Yeah. It, it would be like every single team would have just say, well, we now have we have our position. Everyone will play exactly the same the entire game. So Apex Esports right now, looking into the game here, is mm -hmm. currently in to Pachinki. And it looks like they have enemies to work with as well. I don't know what's happening with EG, but they're having early fights every single game. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is kind of true. They do. Here's here's the thing. They have to do their maths, but the thing is, you can't really do your maths against these teams. Are they playing against quick maths right now? No, they're playing against Apex. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they have to do their math. I suppose when you when you go into tomorrow's finals, right, that the super super best top eighteen teams in the world, you know where they drop. Most of them, you know where they drop, so you you'll be able to go into an area there and not be contested about it. This time around, it's kind of hard to look into how these teams are playing this one because they're kind of spread out. They're they're in different leagues. They're in different um, orgs. Let's say you know they they compete in in, in way different places. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they don't want they don't know what to expect of each other. Well, this uh, is why they could have paid attention to the mini map from game one and two, right, and see if someone is dropping to that location. Yes, but no, nobody is as quite as you know methodical as you are. Well, I, I think that's the job for an analyst. Yes. Someone to just help it out. Yeah, you know? there you go. And here we actually can discuss this. We can open actually this discussion. What do you think about the role of an analyst? I think it's quite important in PUBG. It's, it's, I think it's absolutely I'll, instrumental. I would say this is the most important aspect yeah. of the game that you don't see, like, you know, based skill, but it, it, it has such an influence yeah. on the game. And you can say analyst slash coach. Because yeah. there also needs to be a coach to try and, and you know and guide the boys towards the victory line, uh, so that they don't get hot headed, so that they don't get tunnel vision, so that they don't forget the focus, the focus on their center strat or perhaps playing the side strat. The best thing would be very important a coach that can call out movement. Absolutely. But then the problem is like how is he, how are you going to put him in the game? Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, that's that's a problem, right? He would have to have access to the spectator and so on. So I, I don't think that's vi uh, uh, viable. Maybe it's moment. viable for Counter-Strike, but not for PUBG, right? Well, it will be. But yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks like Zampa, the corner circle player that currently plays for Tempo Storm, has been wiped out of the map there. Uh, no problem at all. Tempo Storm will revert their strategy and try to play as trees. Funnily enough, they try to avoid the, the, the aggression of Envious on the north mm -hmm. side of... of mm -hmm. uh, the western bank there onto George Bowl and onto the hospital area, but they've met someone else towards the south ridge. So, an unfortunate moment for them, of course. Let's see how fortunate uh, Edakulos is going to be as they're heading into Havok. You know, they're going to be avoiding that one straight through, but they're making their way towards Novo, where currently another team is actually in. I mean, so there has to be someone on, on this map, right? They so heard on, us, man. On Look the at island. this. <laughs> Novo has no loot at all, so they made the loot. call. I mean, the one guy has a scar. One guy has a new MP, if I, if I saw it correctly. Mm -hmm. But they made a call. We need to get to the circle right now. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we're going to get smashed if we're going to um, waste three or four minutes just Becky? to get loot. Which kind of smashed? Becky? Let me smash. Or? Yeah, well, you know. <sighs> memes for days. <laughs> <laughs> All Old right. men don't understand memes. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't know Becky? Oh, come on. Becky, let me smash? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna listen after this. Listen, okay. I'm just, I'm getting triggered now. After this match, I'm gonna have to put you on a. <laughs> we stay at the same hotel, right? So we're gonna go for an all nighter of dank meme compilations on YouTube. <laughs> Prepare yourself, friend. Oh my god, I'm gonna be having massive, Happy. massive like, bonus. No, bags. What? Bags. Like, oh, massive under, bags under of memes? My, or? Under my Oh, right. Okay, let's see Ox, how he's doing with the motorbike here. He is currently being uh, followed by one of his teammates, but there is also a boogie in the way, and that boogie is definitely not from his own Panax. Going to be stopping that one, but won't be going for the aggression. Ox will escape with his life. No problem here whatsoever. But as they make their way towards Milta, there's already a team that actually made their way safely into that one there, so Ox might have a, a bit of a difficult time. Let's see if it's an Ox Cable or if it's an Ox Oxen going headfirst into the battle. None of the above. Uh, we'll be avoiding that one, like a, like a sneaky one. And you, you can't it. really blame him. And look at this, Milta Power currently not being taken. They can definitely go into that one there and call themselves Noble happy for crowded. it. Noble yeah. and who's that, Nuki? Um, it's all for the Nuki, right? Yeah, Limp Biscuit all over the place. Absolutely. That's quick math. There you go. Finally, we can connect on something. Beautiful. Uh, right. Well, another team will be joining. Uh, that's G... Gale Force Esports joining, uh, I would say Novo. They have to probably make the same call because they would say, why would anyone go, you know, to Novo before us? So let's go there as well. That's probably gonna happen. Look at the Wolf. Yeah, Lonely Wolf at this moment in time. It doesn't look like he's uh, followed by any of his teammates here. Ooh, he's stopping at the gas station, right? That, that, that dangerous. Right next to the uh, crucial, of course, point of the map, which is the bridge. It's mm -hmm. a tactical point, a choke point, where you can get a lot of loot, especially in this stage of the game, which might be important for your livelihood of the team uh, in the next stages, since, you know, so many teams will have to go through the circle to the south side of the map, most likely. It's like a 60% that will end up on the military. It map, will. Right? It probably will. Probably will. Unless it ends fully in the water. Yeah. In the which case, I will be selling my laptop. I'm not going to be playing games anymore I, I would say only three maybe five teams will get the, the chance to approach the military island by boats yep. everyone else will need to go with vehicles through those bridges and that will be a weeping for the first team that is going to settle a tent you know on that bridge mm -hmm. well, let's see who's going to be camping there indeed in the meantime though nip well they're going to be making acquaintance with one of their enemies it does look like their enemies are taking some shots there. Eggs tries to drive that bike as fast, as far as he can into the water. Now he's heading straight into his enemies. He knows that they can't Holy touch him. Hammers have now he would peek his head outside just a little bit there just to try and make a point. But Caliburn is going to be getting burned himself by the arrest of NIP. So both of the teams are going to be going straight into the water here. I think NIP want to make sure that they're first on the other side. There's a boat to be taken. It doesn't look like Caliburn and, or Samurai are interested in that one there. Caliburn now on 75 HP. Eh, going to be too bad, all things considered. But Who's NIP are taking a shot from another spot. I think Caliburn and Samurai's teammates are actually taking shots at them. Yep. That's the rest of the Hollywood Hammers. So they, uh, yeah. they're trying to take some shots at the um, at the team that is, well, trying to intimidate their teammates. Samurai and Caliburn have to just go straight away. NIP takes the 
decision to just swim across the river and not take me to not take the boat. That's one problem because if the if Hollywood Hammers will now go back to the boat, they mm. can just run over them. <laughs> what? I mean, drive over them. Yeah, but yeah, but if unless they go way way underneath. Beautiful thing about the new map, though, we must say, there, even if there's not a lot of water, it's super super deep. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly deep. It's I don't know how many meters it is, but it's it's super super deep. A lot What's of teams on still on the north side of Georgia Bowl or somewhere around that area there. C9, what are you what are you doing there? You're not TSM. Get the crap out of there. Frolicker, Chappy, Brooksy Moody. Not really given uh, too many, you know, cares in the world, I suppose. Uh they will be making their way towards the uh towards the center of the map. Sort of yes or who's Rose? Brooks is playing oh, WLG, WLG, right. so he might have a hard time going away yeah, he's from Forza shots. because this is an open field right now where he's at. Absolutely, and uh, Frolicker, well, he didn't drain his ears when he got out of the water. It does sound a bit uh, odd as he tries to uh, <laughs> tries to shake it off right there. We have to watch NIP until they get out. Uh, there oh, we, there go. we go. Happy day, sorted indeed. NIP, this must be said, they're going to be the first uh, to swim on the south side uh, island, but... They're in not the going to be the first ones in there. Gale Force Wolf, who did take the building next to the gas station, uh, was taken out by... Oh. Who was that? I actually can't remember. Holy crap. Who is close to him? Who is close to that him? That is set to destroy, and Fignaldo, Fignaldo was taking the shots at Wolf and did take him out pretty quickly. So now the problem is he's alone there. So his teammates need to go to him to rescue. Absolutely, but they and won't. And the thing is... Way too far. That's exactly. It. Can we do that? Nope. Probably not. Our teammate is lost. We need yeah. to just move Players away from threes. that and that's about it. That's the casualty, casualty of war. Absolutely. And that's going to be the end of them. In the meantime, man, IP successfully swim towards the south side there. Valiatis finds some enemies, but it doesn't look like they connect any shots. So he's quite safe and happy where he is going. Nobody's going to be challenging uh, him on that position. In the meantime, Spike will be grabbing the buggy, and it looks like his team is going to be following suit. They want to make sure that they're in the cars already as the new circle approaches. And the new circle does indeed show that it will be a south sided affair on I'm or really close surprised. towards Novo that only one person died throughout those two circles. But I mean, those are professionals, right? I mean, professionals are not, right? But the circle is, is such a open place right now that everyone has to go early into that circle. And mm. ev if everyone is traveling early into the circle, you will have a lot of gunfights, right? That's some logic, man. I want the logic meme with the guy that points towards his head. Yeah. Well, you, if you take shots, you might actually hit something. <laughs> Beautiful. Did you come up with that yourself? Yes, right now. Beautiful. And you miss all the shots you're not taking. Words of... There you go. You miss all the shots that you're not taking. Words of wisdom coming in from Lothar. Let's see if Boom is going to be as wise on his team. They should know. They kind of have an idea that there might be a team north of them. It if does. I'm not mistaken, they already have taken shots in the, like a few minutes ago. Yeah. With each other. So they... 100% know that there's someone else. Well, not in the way, actually, not, not in the way Boom is approaching the situation. Look at this. He's actually getting super, super close. I wanted to say that they know that there's a team close to them because of the way they're sticking together, but now they're starting to split apart, and this might end up hurting them. Boom is really separated from his zone, and he's heading straight into the jaws of the enemy. And they Honestly, might catch him off I like when one player of the team is like this um, stalker, you know, mm -hmm. like the guy that is pretty far away from the rest of the teammates and he can get either crucial informations for his other teammates when it comes to like big picture scout. movement kind of scout kind of like a stalker yes. that <laughs> can backstab people stalker you know? sounds better um because in some in some fights when your let's say your teammates three of the teammates will start a battle against a, another team and you can get a flank and mm -hmm. three shots at them that's a win right away right but it, it requires a guy that is pretty far away from the rest of the team. Absolutely. NIP, in the meantime, they find themselves some enemies. Not going to be taking too many shots. They're in a very special divot. One that really gives them cover from wherever they are, uh, wherever their enemies are, really. So they're going to be very happy with their current positioning. Just just a few shots will be taken at their enemies just to let them know that they're there, uh, just to make sure that they're not going to be swarmed in. And it does look like they're not going to be uh, swarmed in at all. There's no point in the game three to actually swarm. They're still playing for places again. Top 10 is super valuable at this point in time. Borg holding on to his car 98. He might actually pull a six shot here. Ah, just barely misses as uh, Matteo. <laughs> barely misses. Around. He actually shot the floor <laughs> in the ground. Well, so he connected something. <laughs> all right, there you go. That's that was a that was the point all wait, along, wait, right? Wait, did 
did his teammate didn't have actually have a helmet? I he think does. Borg does have a helmet. No, no, no. His teammate. Who does not? That wasn't crunch. That wasn't sweater. So that has to be eggs. Without a eggs. Eggs don't have helmets, man. What kind of? Yeah, he has it. <laughs> no, okay, he's maybe got a some problem with rendering or something. I, I don't know. Don't know. But it looks like we oh. got a helmet. Painkiller took some shots. It doesn't look go. like it might have been shots from the Mini 14. That sweater would there go to helmet. Goes. Sweaters don't have helmets either, unless it's Makes a sense. No pants as sweater. well. I mean, he's a, he's, his nickname is Sweater, and he doesn't have a sweater you in the what? game. That and would be the awesomest thing, to, to actually make a sweater that has a helmet attached. How cool would that be? Yeah, for sure, level Are three. you Googling that? Uh, AliExpress probably has that. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, all right. Still a battle between NIP... It's not going to be one that really uh, ends up in kills. Yeah. At this moment in time, they're just checking each other. They're just really making sure that none of them goes towards the other one. We do see a battle that will end up in frags indeed. Chappie takes some shots at his enemy here. He will get a chance to get this frag as well. And yes, indeed, he kills Rory. That's going to be the end of that one. That's the third casualty of the map. But they're super far away from the next white. From the second white, mind you. So they're really going to have to start making their way into the, into the safety of the... Uh, white circle because as the next one approaches the third the the, the really really dreaded third circle in competitive mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. is really going to hit them hard so uh tempo storm as well they're going to have to make their way inside the circle as well and they have to take the bridge and they have to take the bridge as well which is currently not gate kept there's no point in gate keeping somewhere out of the blue there Ooh, in the meantime nice though envious times. coming in from the western bank of the northern side taking their boats and now approaching the southern side of the military island well, they're not going to be so happy. Venerated gets knocked out, but I do think that he will get rezzed as well. Max will be running against him. It does look here like uh, Apex Esports are set to destroy, but uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, closing in a frag there. Venerated should be safely rezzed, unless his teammates are far. No, they're not. They're going for the rest straight up. All right, well, this that's an M24, my favorite oh. gun in the game. Absolutely, same here. You know uh, what? When I, uh, every single time I have an AVM, which doesn't happen that often, right? Because I'm so shy weapon. to shoot it. it. It's like, even when I shoot it... Oh! Wow! Nice <laughs> shot! Oh, we All right, Max. Welcome back into the game. They're beautiful shot. That's why it's your favorite. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful gun to work with here. Another player knocked out from Envious. We'll get rest as well. Uh, somewhere else, though, on the map, we see uh, some s teams really, really starting to cover around the Nova Repnoy side. And we will be seeing uh, a lot more action in that one, especially as the circle strangles in. We'll find in a few seconds where it's going to be ending. In the meantime, though, uh, let's talk a little about the boys that are still <laughs> outside the circle. You're what is going on here? about the fact that no one is gatekeeping the bridge, right? What and now we can see C9 with Temple Storm next to each other. But Chappie is actually alone. And he's waiting. I'm not sure for what he's waiting. Maybe he knows that someone else is at the end of the bridge or was there a few minutes ago. Yeah. Because he needs to wait for something. I don't see a p other point, right? He has no team members on the north side of the map, so no one is coming for him mm -hmm. with a vehicle. So he either knows that someone is behind him and he just cannot move right now and he needs to wait for them to maybe take a kill and maybe he take a them. vehicle. He heard them. He definitely heard them come in with the motorbike. That's why he's sticking around to his position. He's going to be holding on to the same spot there, just waiting for the ideal moment to peek out. And now it's going to be happening. They're taking shots with the AK there. A good one, indeed. It's going to be Luke that gets knocked out. The second car tries to come in there, but it's not going to be coming in there. Fast on his heels. The enemy of Chappie has been defeated, and he is victorious in what was to be the Battle of the Bridge. Now The Battle of the Blue Bridge. I would love to see if he got any meds from, from his opponent, right? Because I'd that's, say they would. That's like the... Horror of attrition on the bridge if you get managed to um, get heals that you had to use by tanking that blue. Yep, and here comes that fight into Novo. As we were saying, teams really making their way into that one there. It looks like Team Totality have themselves the Grey House, the big mansion, to work with here. And they're really putting up the screws. And what, on I Apex think that's Red from Apex. Yeah, Red got really low mm. on health. SKS. No teammates him, as well. Yeah, put him down. But look at that. That... That tree is actually quite big. But oh, he's taking the run! Are you kidding me? That's so brave! And he's alive somehow! I don't know how he's alive, but I, at the same time, I don't know why would he switch position because he's still in the same bad spot. 
Yes, he is. And look at Ox actually already on the side flank there. Red has a sliver of life left in him. You throw a bullet at him, he's going to be dying down, but it doesn't really matter because he goes for the beak. He goes for the frag. Red has one HP. One mo yes, he does. He's got That's one moment of a breather for him as he tries to go for it. Nothing but a knock. Oh, that's unfortunate. Purdy got him from T totality, but the damage was already done. Ox actually took damage from himself. Uh, sorry, uh, himself as well. So there's that. And IP in the meantime, they're going to be pushing into the team that they were trying to avoid earlier on. And it does look like set to destroy X. They're going to be set to be wrecked X. Because right now, it's just going to be Painkiller left alive from this one here. But somewhere else, it's just going to be Borg on the other side. Where are <laughs> oh, his hugged. teammates? Oh, they're all. He they're hugged all the wall. <gasps> oh, bad. this is unfortunate. They're getting peeked in from the outside. And Borg has no clue where they're actually getting peeked in from. I think that was a suppressed shot. So now he's quite confused what was happening. Yeah. I think that was Ashik. Was it Ashik actually taking a shot? I'm not too sure who else would have been able to do it. So, first team to fall on game three is actually GA Esports. Yeah. There's that. Now, Circle is strangling once again. It's become speedier and speedier, so it's got to be harder and harder to get into, into it. Most of the look teams at, are in. But look at, yeah. C9 is all good so happy. and alive. Huh. Not in the blue even, so they're not taking damage. They're just going around to the base with all vehicles. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Caden, who, who was wrecking people last game, took another kill. This guy is on fire today. This is like the I think ninth kill, minimum ninth kill. And another one for him. Current idea to put to good use there is going to be Reaper of Points that gets reaped down right before the taking, perhaps. And uh, he will get rest. There's a chance for that to happen. Yes, it will happen indeed. I'm, I'm, I'm super curious, though, to see where this, this next circle is going to be at because if it's going to be towards the Novo area, so many teams actually have to make their way into that one, and it's going to be an open field. You do have trees to go towards that side if mm -hmm. you're coming straight mm -hmm. from the west. But even with those trees, you don't have enough of a cover. People still playing on the uh, observatory. And that's a very powerful uh, place to actually play from. So check sure is going to be checking them and shooting at them. Mm -hmm. Definitely so as, a good thing. As soon as the game will go into 1.0, this position to shoot from um, at the um, top of the tower will be super actually hard to pull off because yep. the the air drag that will be added to the game will make weapons like M16, like Scar, Ooh. almost useless good in point. on 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 that you know on that length. Player from Tempo Storm, I want to point this out. He's actually on the north side still. He's crossing it now. Your boy Dre ate up a bit of a damage there. Uh, it does look like he took shot from full squad. So he's not <laughs> he had he's to done. actually take it oh. from the what? west side of the bridge. He had to go to the east side. Yeah. All the way with that UAZ of his. Because uh, who was it? Chappie. That was Chappie oh, from C9 Chappie that took, took, took out his uh, yeah. team member and uh, just intimidated him and pushed him away. Yeah, well, that was a good push. Uh, Nomi oh, taking shots at his enemy there. Half-Life on him as well. This is a war of attrition. This is a war that n is not really going to end with anything being lost but uh, uh, first aid kits and bandages and boosters. So these two teams might just uh, realize this one sooner rather than later, but they're still taking shots at each other. Look at Frolicker's HP. is one I third mean, on him. This is EG. They're going to take those fights every <laughs> single yeah. time. I don't know what's wrong with them. Or maybe just, you know, the way they're playing. If it pays out, maybe sometimes it pays out, but they're taking the fights all the time. They, they almost never retreat, and that, they pay the high price. Absolutely. It's not always good to actually take these fights. Not only, okay, maybe you're super looted, maybe you're going to be okay with what you have and res or, or, or be picked up nonstop, but at the end of the day, you only have one set of armor. And if that gets taken down, then you're in a bit of a doozy. Edge of the circle still, and it does look like your team has left. There you go. Just mm. what you were about to say, that they're putting up fights everywhere. Well, they now, do. after they lost his vats, Lul. they would have to go. Yeah, Nomi is, I think, the sole survival, or is there someone else from EG? Ashik is Ashik still is alive. So, for, Ghoul for them. and Ashik. All right, so the only vats died. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> I hope he's not listening. Never mind. <laughs> Nomi died Sweater, in the well. meantime, finds a frag there. Nomi is going to be out of the map. NIP also have to make their way outside. They're playing as threes at the moment. One of them is going to have to, have to go for a nice little bit of a walk, stretch his legs. But look at where NIP are actually heading straight into the jaws of danger. Oh. They're heading really badly into it. Both of them not. Just the guy that was on his foot is going to be live into the game there. NIP uh, still into it with one member. But wah, as the Lobby here took a high, from Asma, yeah. high value of points right now. Not only. Not only points for the kills, but also free because loot delivery. Yeah. And also because it's NIP, so you get extra yeah. points for that, right? Exactly. Every single time you Absolutely. kill an NIP. 
Team Totality, in the meantime, there have made new neighbors. It does look like someone's uh, two squads are actually on the north of them. And, uh, well, it's not going to be an easy time for Team Totality to actually defend this one. Look at Purdy spotting someone through the door. Ooh, turns around at the wrong time there. If you would have sticked around just for a few more seconds, would have found that shot with that 8x. Nope, nope, still holding on to that same spot there. But from this position, you cannot really see someone in the house uh, just as much as his teammate did. So I don't know if Team Totality are in a good spot right now. They're, they're starting to get swarmed in, and that's definitely not a good sign for him. Eight times on the scar. By the way, how are the shoes named? No longer. Uggs? Uggs? You know the Ugg, shoes? Uggs, yeah. Yeah, there's one on the end of the scar. Oh, there's an Ugg at the end of the scar. Just you are right, at the, at the, yeah, at the yeah, stock. The, the stock, right? Look, oh. That's M60. But yeah. next time we're gonna have a scar, just look at it. That looks like my shoes. Scuffed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Havoki coming in with a good frag there. He's hoping to get the second one as well, and he will be getting that chappy. Look at him juke left and right. Is How did he not Havaki's die to that five 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 uh, Look, Havaki's 5.56 five was uh, no match for the jukes, the incredible jukes from Chappy. Beautiful stuff indeed, and he will rest Frolicker as well. Uh, and that's a good rest. That's an important rest because I think they're the only ones left. Uh, for their own team there. But with the next circle, they also have a mile to go to. And uh, Envy are, are getting shot on, but this is a very bad shot. Because right now, Envy are going to be the one that will gatekeep Havaki and his team. Mm -hmm. And quick maps, we'll need to do some quick maps oh, about the travel. Yeah. And the amount of risk that I need to take when they are taking shots from a high ground like this. Everyone will know they're coming from that position. So now, they need... Oh, they had a parking lot behind them. Look at that. Three dashes. Oh my god, it's so neatly. Bike. Oh, look at that. The OCD is powerful, quick man. Yeah. So now I understand why the name. Look at how neatly they park their little vehicles, and they're very proud of it as well, jumping around. Too same. bad they don't have all three dashes in one car. Oh, yeah, man. Look, that would have been uh, deadly. But the way they parked them, lovely stuff. Never seen this before. Ah, oh, that's just the neatest kind of thing. Right, so they had a plan B, which is take all the vehicles and go. And now they're they executing that plan. They need to go into the circle straight away, avoid envious, but they stop to have the firefight right now and they're taking heavy damage. Havoc gets knocked out by um, envious check, check shooter. shooter. Got some nice shots on him. Look at the flying from Nuki. It's all about the Nuki. Let's see if the Nuki is all about him. Check shooter eating up a heck of a lot of damage there. Pops in the first hit kit, but instantly gets dinked down and knocked out as well. Nuki still pushing in here bravely as he is, but he's now taking a lot of damage there. He will not get more than a knockout here. Inveterated tries to reply with some good shots. Check shooter still behind that tree. Nuki is going to be using a first aid kit. His teammates are going to try and offer him some protection. But Reaper is taking so much damage himself. Nuki still goes at it. Such an aggressive boy. But that's about all she wrote for him as he gets knocked out in this battle so far here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a res possible for him. Caden, the only one left alive for Envious. No, it's actually going to be venerated into that one as well. And, uh, well, I think Alex might get a chance to res one of his teammates behind the dodge there. But Nookie's out of it. Nope. That's Frolicker. unfortunate for Quick Maps. Not only they took a very heavy fire from Envious, but they didn't even die. They didn't even die before Envious. Yeah. And Envious are now in a very difficult spot. And Venerate is outside of the blue. He's the last player left alive for his team. Uh, he's next to the body of his uh, teammate and of his enemy, so he can go for a lot of heals right now. But as he tries to make it out of there, he's got to get spotted himself. It's not going to be... Actually, Frolicker does not seem... They were busy looting. Sorry, they were busy pressing tab in the inventory there. He's still visible, Venerated man. still invisible. Holy moly, he's still visible in this position. So now he just needs to be... You know, he, he just needs to be like fighting against a T-Rex. Don't move. <laughs> yeah. Don't move. They just don't heal motion. up. And try to not, you know, just get attention from those people. Yeah. Next to him. It does look like they're kind of busy somewhere else on the map, though. I don't so. think he has any meds. Look at this. He's just lying there. Yeah, that is true. That would be super unfortunate at this moment in time to be out of meds. Oh. He needs now to go for spotted. the frags. He, he needs goes to for go the frags. Frag. He has to go for it because he needed the meds to res himself as he went into the next circle. Or not res, but heal himself. So that happened. Team Blank now are going to be uh, probably posing a very, very difficult threat to... Um, People coming in from the west side there. In the meantime, Totality still doing good. But this time around, it does look like uh, there is a team quite close to them. I'm not too sure how far they can go when Azimuth Lobby starts to push in. Azimuth is looking actually pretty decent. All four members still alive. Going going into that top ten soon enough. Space Station as well with only VZ, I think. Well, talking about Azimuth Lobby... Yeah. They just got wrecked. <laughs> they're going to go in the next lobby. Looks so like it. that's about it. Andra, Andra will wrecked. just get wrecked by Herself. that blue. Holy moly. 
Andrea wrecked herself. Or Andrea wrecked blue. I can't read the nickname. That UAZ is destroyed. Go run. Make your way out of it. Totality, you're taking a lot of damage here. Purdy is still doing good, but Smithy is blocked inside the blue. Nop Nop managed to make his escape from there in the meantime, though. They're going to be ex exiting quite safely, so because Team Blank is busy with Benkus, uh, or Benkus 5. <laughs> Did you really see Andrea? Just wanted yep. to get one kill before he oh, dies in the blue. Oh, that might be a nice nade on Totality. Nah, too far. I don't think it's too far. Yeah. It's actually too close. Yep. Oh, but the second one hit a little bit. <gasps> They're actually getting dangerously close right now. Totality have absolutely no idea. Pocket red zones is what Frolicker brings into the game. But they're going to be leaving that battle for the moment here. They kind of know that Team Blank is just east of them. They don't know exactly where. Now they spotted them. I think Chappie's going to be taking the shot here. Surprise. deadly here. Yeah, it might be indeed. Oh, Team Blank are busy with Team Totality. That's a perfect moment for Chappie and Frolicker, actually. That's an absolutely lovely moment for them. Pybus is going to be getting banked. Uh, Pybus has knocked out himself. A lot of damage being taken by Purdy. He's going to have to go for the heal. He's got no idea how close his enemies are. Oof, man. Th this is an absolute and utter uh, bum clinch. <laughs> All right. Well, he's taking a lot of shots, but he's missing that one crucial bullet to take out his opponent. And now he pays the price. His team gets knocked out. Yep. Uh, let's see how C9 are going to be faring into this one here. Blank are going to be pushing in. They actually have C9 the better position. The rest. Yeah, they do. They do have a fantastic position. And actually, Blank are coming in from a very, very open area. No smokes to work with here so far, it seems, as they're trying to make their side flanks happen. Frolicker kind of knows the situation already. He's expecting a flank to occur, so he's going to be peeking at the right angle. Let's see if he spots MBS or if NBS spots him first. MBS spotted him, but they're not taking shots just yet. MBS hold it on. Oh, M4... He missed use. initial shots, and that was the crucial damage. Well, that's actually very good, because they've set C9 on the back foot. And now they can safely push in from different perspectives. Here goes I am Chappie. The last one staying alive for Alka. Not going to be alive for too long there, as he gets pushed in. And that's going to be GG blank for Blank. Who, uh, yeah, they're the bad boys of uh, GLL, man. They're the team that got on through with most of the frags, most of the time. You got to give it to them, man. These okay, guys... Nine kills. Yeah, they know how sweet. to play the game. But let's let's talk about also the second place. The Cloud9, Chappie with seven kills, Ooh. coming in hot, Froilsa with five. That's actually amazing. That is, if I'm not mistaken, that's 85 points just for the <laughs> kills alone, yeah. right? For a blank, that's even more. That's 95, if I'm not mistaken. So when you think that about it, 200. 200 from the first place. Almost 300 points. Almost 300 points for just one game. So yeah. they will be fantastically positioned going into the next game. As Whatever. they would say in Sweden, it is huge. Oh, yeah. Did you know that "bae" means shit in Danish? <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm serious. A B A E. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe it's a little bit different pronunciation, but uh, I find it funny. Anyway, um, small digression. I think that was a fantastic game. D completely different. We had a yeah bae circle. Unexpected circle. Uh, a little bae circle, yeah. right? Uh, in the Danish way of saying it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it, it didn't look interesting from the beginning, but a lot of teams actually changed the game the way that they usually play, right? Mm. A lot of teams just rushed in into the first circle, took the positioning, and although we have seen two, two teams in Novo, they didn't take so much fire between each other. So uh, we didn't see, I think, a team being eliminated until fourth circle. Yeah, yeah. Which it is was quite very a long way. interesting yeah. for a circle like that when it ended up on the military base. Such an awkward ev circle, yeah. Everyone was so condensated with each other, right? Mm -hmm. So even when we had some swimmers, they were next to each other. Uh, when other people could have taken shots at them from, uh, you know, just other side of the river, right? Yeah, so I get you. I think it was actually executed very well from yeah. every single team when it comes to that awkward circle. And to be honest, that only shows that people might complain about the circles. At the same time, you need to adapt. You need to overcome. You need to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complaining is not going to be helping you out at all. Yeah. Good point. Uh, we do have the first clip of this match ready. Let's have a look. Let's dig straight into it. Mm, I'm hungry for some good clips. Oh, that's the max with the tasty M24. Let me, let me watch this again, Headshot man. on Caden. Caden tastes Ooh. his own medicine because yeah. this is something he was doing to other people in the previous game. So, woo, was tasty. The M24 is tasty? Yeah, I think so. I go. mean, when you have a suppressor on it, the sound is like... I know, man. I know, I know. Oh, you want to put a word to that? I mean, if, Oh, man, I love that weapon. When <laughs> it has the suppressor, it just sounds like every single shot... It's a manly shot. Yeah, it's, it, mm. you actually feel so 
good, so dominant, yeah, yeah. but you need to actually hit as well. Alpha. That's the problem, right? It's an alpha shot, there you go. Yeah. But the if I'm not it. mistaken, M24 ha has actually velocity of uh, SKS, so you might could learn how to shoot with M24 just by shooting SKS. Uh, yeah, okay, in terms of the, yeah, how to lead your yeah. bullets. Because the problem with good AVM point. is that, y at least I don't There's have enough no practice, yeah. right? I mean, it's not Super a ray gun, right? Yeah. But at the same time, there there is a difference between the velocity of, of an example, Car 98 and AVM. Yeah. And you huge, need yeah. to learn that, right? Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, you just miss the shot, and it, it doesn't matter if you shoot from AVM or from Car 98 or from P92, because if you didn't hit, you didn't do damage. So. Absolutely. The All the shots that you don't hit with, you don't do damage with. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let's have a look at the second clip here. Let's dig straight into it as well. Uh, Chappy on the bridge. I, I, I'm pretty fair to say here that uh, Tempo had absolutely no clue that there might be someone camp at the, the bridge. I mean, even if they know, I would say that they would should go through this uh, anyway. Yeah. Because the circle, if I remember correctly, was still on the east side of the bridge, and there was a higher chance that someone would be actually on the east side of the bridge yeah. than on the west side. So even if they know that someone is here, it makes no sense to just travel all across the map, take the additional damage, and just go through. And if you're especially on a bike that can go up to 132 mm -hmm. kilometers per hour, um, people actually need to be really skillful to hit someone on the bike. And yeah. we have seen here Chappie, amazing shots on that vehicle. He waited until the very perfect time it's to, also to hit those AKs on a s straight diagonal. Exactly. It's beautiful. The AK... Slow velocity, right? So hitting people on the bike is especially kind of like yeah. harder. Unless with he got that angle. Yeah, he he got that he got that angle. So the very well position. He actually moved a little bit to his right to have a better position better, yeah. to be more in front of the bike, right? So then it's easier to shoot, almost like this. You have to exactly. No so worry, one one more thing is that I, I lost my track of thought. Train one more thing is that well the AK w made it difficult to shoot against the motorbike because it's yeah. high speed. And the fact that it is high speed makes it that much more difficult. But the the thing that he had was the unwell surprise. Yeah. Nobody would have expected him to be out of the blue so late into that round and still trying. And why would he like? Why would anyone do that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Tempo Storm, like there's absolutely no chance that there's someone biting the. Just blue one right guy, now. right? Yeah, random weirdly, one you know, guy. This is this is the guy that you when you play solos, you know, <laughs> in public games. It's like, yeah. what are why you doing are you there? in, in yeah. this? Toilets. And then you Here immediately see them on the kill feed uh, died onto the, uh, onto the <laughs> red, <or> blue <laughs> yeah. circle. Uh, rank 25. Oh, and it's like, uh, yeah, okay, okay, thanks. Let's have a look at the final replay. Let's have a look at uh, what we've got, what our production oh. prepared for a sweater. is going to have a lot of holes in that sweater. Not a Christmas one, indeed. They entered Or it the could be a Christmas sweater because right it's now. a red one. Well, now it's a red one, yes. Yeah. There you go. That's going to be the end of the sweater. It has bullets and it's red. So, bullet Done. holes, actually. Um... That was actually a very brutal ending to NAP. Yeah. Mm. Because, first of all, you have to be very cautious about driving that bike through all those hills, right? Yeah, because you don't so know you where you're ending up, right? So mm. you need to be slower on it, but then you drive in a velocity that, uh, sorry, in a speed that is just so easy, right, to get hit from. Yeah. So, yeah, so seeing what, how difficult. it does it end, right? Yeah, absolutely. Easy kills. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. It's been a really great game, and uh, just as Lothar said it, an awkward circle, but that saw teams adjust to it quite handily enough, and that's actually quite uh, quite a good moment to be in. Seems good. Yeah, seems good. Quite a seems good moment, uh, it seems. And uh, on that bombshell, we're going to be going for a quick break, but don't go anywhere. we got two more matches to show you, and after this break, we'll show you the accumulated score so far. So uh, we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Nice.